So welcome back to Learn With Mary. So today we're going to do the mounts. So, so far we have done the thumb, the handprints, the fingers, the head and the heart line, the life and the fate line, and today is the mounts. And it's just a little outline of uh, uh, palmistry just so you've got something to do while you're bored. Now the most important line was the one I talked about yesterday, which is the fate line. And that runs through this mount we call it moment so uh it's not actually a mount it's a dip but anyway they're called the mounts anyway this is the one that's in the center so that's the mount of mars and mars as we know if we're astrologers because there's some of my astrology students listening to this um mars is the god of war and it's all about fight and flight action 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 energy and aggression now in the f i think it was in the a lesson when I was talking about how to take a print where it doesn't print is as important where it does so you're taking a print of your kiddies hand your friend's hand even your own if it doesn't whoopsie doesn't print properly in the center here and leaves which we've got with this person a most almighty gap okay and this person I couldn't get and trust me, I tried hard to get the center of his, as her, as a her, yeah, couldn't get the center of her hand properly. Look at that. They've got their cross at that moment in time. So depending on which hand it is, so if it's in the left, it doesn't print and it's left a gap. That's the past. If it's the right, this is if the right handed, it's the future. And if it doesn't print in the center, and you've tried everything, you know, you've pushed and pushed and blah, 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 and stuck the paint and whatever, and it's left this God Almighty, oops, let me show you again, great, enormous gap, then you need to say to them, what are you cross about? Or what were you cross about? And that's a great opener, because then the person can open up about the thing that's cheesing them off, and then we can look at a way of resolving it. Um, now, depending on how deep it is, is also how... Uh, like how what sort of depths yeah that's right of crossness um or anger that person can suffer from and the deeper their hand goes in and just as a general rule blokes hands go deeper then the more cross they can be now i haven't got an example that i can show you because unfortunately with the plint a plint a print is very one-dimensional but you can see with my hands if i don't know which way around i have to do it you can see that they don't it doesn't actually dip in that far okay but have a look at yours as if the center of your hand mars god of war action aggression and energy the deeper in the center of your hand goes it's like the more anger you have in your body so you need to find other ways of expressing anger now anger isn't a good or bad thing no emotion is good or bad but too much of any one emotion is bad so if you've got a really really deep goes right in it's like oh my god i'll never be able to take a print out of that without <laughs> pressing down really hard then you need to be working on on your anger issues okay so mars now the next one is venus okay this, this is quite a fun one when it comes to blokes so venus okay now that is a mount that definitely rises up in the hand here it's the one that's all under the thumb it goes all the way around so where you've got the the lifeline which we talked about yesterday it's this little fella here okay now venus okay is have a guess goddess of love okay and the deeper that is like you know the bigger it is it's like okay the more sexuality that person has been blessed with so if you're eyeing up your mate okay for first night wonderfulness you need to check how um, pronounced that mount is on a bloke on a girl you really really don't want that to be too big and we're making terrible generalizations here and i'm not taking into account um gay or transgender on this point i'm just talking about uh, heterosexual okay so man nice deep mound oh there's going to be a lot of energy there but on so what you don't want is the reverse of that you don't want somebody whose mount of venus is terribly flat they're just going to be absolutely pants in <laughs> stupid but in the bedroom they're just they're not really going to come up to much now isn't an awful lot you could do to change uh, the way your mounts are unlike the lines which I have, i've mentioned i can't remember which episode episode i can't remember which lesson it was but your lines will change. So you, your left hand is right hand person. Left hand is what you're born with. The right is what you do with it. The right will change. Lines will move here, go there, come, go, 
blah, 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 everything except the major uh, fingerprints will alter. Even the lines in the hand that I was talking about before, the fingerprints, so to speak, of the hand, some of those lines can, some of the ridges can alter a bit. I have seen, I've not seen it myself, but I've seen it in books, in palmistry books. I've not really gone into it that much with my clients. I never really have the time. But things can change. But your mounts can't alter that much. I've got no evidence to say they can or they can't. It's just that the 30 plus years that I've been in fact, it's more than that, 40-something years that I've been doing palmistry. I haven't worked with anybody long enough to see if their mounts alter in some way. I'm sure they can. Don't know. But anyway, if yours is very, very flat and your sexuality levels are very low, then you need to look at your hormone intake and your food intake. So that would be a hormone, food, slash, evening primrose or type of thing issue that needs to be looked at. Unless, of course, you're happy with your mount of Venus being very flat and your sex life being zero. Entirely up to you. Right. this is the one I love the most so this is the mount of the moon you do want that to be flat this is this side here so it's the one underneath the little finger and it's that mount there Okay, that is the imagination part of the hand there Oh, will I dream up now I mentioned when I was doing the headline if your headline droops and goes all the way down and I did put some examples so I don't know where you're watching this on, on YouTube or on Facebook but if you're on YouTube go over to my Facebook page which is Mary English Author okay Google it you'll find it um, if your headline droops all the way down into your mount of moon your imagination is as big as the universe and the disadvantage to that is you're more likely to envisage or imagine a negative outcome than a positive okay some of the happiest people probably some of the happiest people are as unimaginative as you can imagine and they're just they, they kind of imagine themselves not being happy because they're not got the imagination but the mount of moon is about the imagination now there are lines because i did get asked a question about um uh, rachel i think it was about her um lifeline having a cross at the end of it it wasn't a cross it was a line coming into it so that's the other thing as well to to understand to know where lines come from because there's this hell of a lot in there depending on how many lines you've got some people only have the basic one two three four that's it Dunk. Um, and then other people have millions of the flipping things. You've got to determine where does the line come from, which which direction is the line going in for an influence line to come through it. So if you've got a lot of stuff, now, as I mentioned about my fate line, my fate line starts in my amount of um, moon in my imagination. So I was away with the fairies, I was a typical Pisces. That's why I always say I'm a reformed Pisces. I was not on planet A. I don't know why. I don't know if I spent a vast amount of my childhood um, or my teens getting off my face, did I? I didn't really dabble that much. Enough to make mean that I wasn't on the planet too much. But anyway, I got round that. By, if, if you want to come down to Earth with a big bump, have a baby. There's nothing more grounding than having a baby. Okay, Having to feed something every couple of minutes. <laughs> Look after it. <laughs> if you... I'm not saying go out and get pregnant and have a baby if you're not grounded. I'm just making the point for me, um, might be because I've got Saturn in uh, Capricorn, and Jupiter in Capricorn, that when you have a baby, it's a very, very grounding thing. It's so practical. It's about poo, wee, food, everything. It's very, very grounding. So if you have a line that comes out of there and it is like in my case your fate line then you are not on planet a so you need to make sure that you're making that extra effort to ground yourself literally lying on the ground underneath the tree but the mountain moon is a very very interesting part of the hand the other side to it the positive side of it is that if you have this wonderful imagination maybe you're an author okay and you're wonderful at fiction and you can write a story or a poem or be creative or artistic you need to have something going on in that part of your hand if you're a creative bod okay and the other thing is these fingers here the ring fingers they're the ones that denote creativity it's the finger of creativity you want something going on there okay so that's amounts moon venus mars okay um there's a a little mount it's not really a mount it's a segment of the hand that's called apollo because in palmistry unlike in astrology we talk about the sun and the moon in uh, palmistry we talk about apollo and apollo was a sun god so we'll let them off for calling it that but that's under this little finger here but we're going to be discussing that tomorrow which is the last lesson in this series of seven oh god i've got a screensaver 
And um, it's the last lesson tomorrow where we're going to be talking about the minor lines. So make sure you join me tomorrow on my Facebook page. Wait for it to pop up or you can subscribe to my page or whatever it is that you do. I think you have to click and like it. Do, do, do that. Click and like my page, please, so that you can get some info from me. We can stay in touch. Have a fab day. If you need to get in touch with me, it's www dot maryenglish.com maryenglish.co.uk or uk astrologer and my name's mary english you can email me mary at maryenglish.co.uk or put your comments in the comments box and we'll speak soon have a fab day bye